Hello, Cancer. Hello and welcome to your June 2024 Celtic Cross. Happy birthday to all of the June Cancerians out there. This reading is for anybody who resonates with Cancer. Maybe it's your sun sign or your moon sign or your rising sign or your Venus sign, or maybe you are cross watching for a special Cancer in your life. Throughout this batch, this deck in particular, this tattoo tarot that I'm using today has definitely shut up my little intro spiel by throwing cards at me. Um, but I generally take that as spirit's way of saying, Shh, get on with it. <laughs> OK, so I'll do that. Your overall energy. Uh, my name's Gemma, by the way. <laughs> Your overall energy for June 2024 is the three of coins. Some really, really exciting Mars and Capricorn energy here. We're working together. We're building together. We're planning together. This is a card of collaboration. This is a card of teamwork. Definitely some kind of project either with another significant person or maybe within a group dynamic. This feels like a bit of a follow on from the energy of last month for your May reading. Kind of got this sort of collaborative vibe going on for you last month. I'm pretty sure it was the Cancerian Collective, in which case you might want to watch the May reading. They all kind of bleed into each other anyway. What's crossing you for June? The Ten of Coins. This is very much a commitment um, to something real, something tangible. Uh, Mercury and Virgo energy here. Um, it's definitely got a home and family vibe with it. You are Cancer. You are therefore of the fourth house, which is the house of home and family. So very much a vibration that you will appreciate, even though this is a Virgo energy here. It, it's it's a commitment to creating like the perfect home, the perfect environment. Um, so maybe you're moving in with somebody with a significant other. Maybe you're moving home. Um, there's definitely that potential on the cards here. Or you're creating some kind of, you know, maybe you're a realtor or we call them estate agents here in, in England. Uh, maybe you're buying and selling property. Maybe you're helping somebody else move house definitely i mean we could be speaking on a more metaphorical level as in your kind of moving your energy from one place to another from one person to another potentially let's see how it all slots in what lies at the root of this situation is the two of coins look at all these pentacles or coins in this particular reading more capricorn energy on the table here venus in capricorn specifically very 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 busy um, delegating, weighing up your finances, figuring out what you can afford, what you cannot afford, what's necessary, what is not necessary, exerting a bit of self-control here. Um, like it, it's a bit of a balancing act, a bit of a juggling act going on here. A lot of time management as well, figuring out um, what I will say, given the energy that's on the table here, Cancer, you're, you're going to be busy. You're going to be busy and you're probably going to be a bit exhausted when all is said and done. Um, you are not taking this project, whatever it is you are working on here, um, lightly. You are taking this very seriously. Um, you're being uh, like down to earth and practical, all this earth energy coming through for you here. We've got the two and the three. So it feels as though we're kind of, this is the beginning for you. The 10 of coins obviously is here, but this is what's crossing you. So I feel like this is, this is the vision. This is the long-term plan. You know, this is the goal. The goal is to reach the 10, but right now we're kind of two and three. So this is kind of early stages, recent past for cancer, please. The four of wands. Look at this commitment again, more energy of commitment, Venus in Aries. Now you've got Venus here twice. Now Venus, of course, the planet of love ruling both Taurus and Libra, um, therefore of earth and air. So more earth, more earth, more earth, uh, fixed and cardinal. Again, it can speak of money. It can speak of relationships. It can speak of being very stable and reliable. Um, it's being decisive in matters. I think you you made a choice. 
in the past regarding what you wanted your future to look like. You kind of put some plans into place, some plans into motion. You made some plans. Um, again, we're very much tapping into this happy home or a commitment to the stability and security of an of a, a happy home kind of energy coming through here. So I would say, you know, maybe you've got some building work, maybe you've got some, some decorators coming into your home or your renovating there's there's a lot of that kind of vibe coming through here right now what's on your mind cancer ace of swords this this feels good this feels you're you're very uh confident um you've kind of got this clarity this clear thinking like you know i think you can kind of whatever it is you're envisioning you you can clearly see it you know so i would say that this feels a little with all these these pentacles it feels a little bit more tangible than you just merely imagining i feel there is some concrete solid plans in action um like a blueprint or like a, a physical design like on paper or on, on some kind of cad or computer aided design kind of situation like this feels tangible let me show you the three of coins which is your central energy from the rider Waite smith here because i just want to show you what i'm seeing and how this is coming through here we are three of coins so this is what the three of coins or the three of pentacles looks like in traditional rider Waite smith can you see this figure in the foreground dressed in the the hood if i can get this to focus for you um, in the yellow and red hooded cloak, holding what looks like some kind of plan or blueprint, kind of coming to this this craftsman here and saying, hey, look, this this is what we want this to look like. This is the design. This is the idea. That's the vibe of this whole reading here. Um, I feel that a lot of the plans is something that you've come up with. This is like your baby or your idea yeah, maybe you are making a baby. There's so many different ways that this can be interpreted, but I am going to run with this kind of like renovation building work um, metaphor because it feels like a really solid metaphor of, of how it is. We're kind of accessing this energy here today, Cancer. Coming in for you is the Ace of Coins. Yeah, you're definitely the, at the beginning, um, but again, more Earth energy more pentacles, it's very real, it's very tangible, and um, there's a lot of money involved. I think you're going to be spending a lot of money or weighing up, you know, what's important, where the money is going to go, um, you know, when you're doing anything big to your home in this way, it, it can cost an absolute bomb, can't it? So, you know, kind of weighing up your finances here. Um, maybe for some of you, you've come into a little bit of money, that is definitely a possibility and it's kind of created a new opportunity for you. If you're struggling right now to figure out where the money is going to come from for this endeavor, there's a really good chance you might be in for a little windfall here. Um, so definitely um, get some numbers on the lottery or the lotto um, if that's something you want to do. If that's something that, that you do on a regular, um, might be worth just making sure. Um, but maybe somebody will be contributing in some way you it is a collaborative effort remember so it looks as though we've got at the very least two heads um is better than one and two incomes is better than one as a general rule so you know if you're moving in together with a significant other and you're kind of joining your resources combining your resources that is instantly going to give you a boost so that could be quite exciting and like i said just opens up some possibilities for you um that potentially weren't necessarily something you were certain you could make a reality in the first instance and now it's like oh well, now this is now this is something we can have this is something we can achieve something we can do it's worth mentioning that so far thus far on the table we only have minor arcanas there's no court cards there is no major arcanas speaks to um like the, the the small details like the 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 making sure that you are paying attention to to the small details and making sure you've got all of your ducks in a row here you know um i think instead of like 
one or two big major projects. It's like you've got like a hundred things to think about here. So definitely creating this plan that I spoke about, putting pen to paper and, and having some kind of checklist or bullet point um, would definitely help you right now to kind of make sure that you've got everything ticked off, everything in check. Again, like this, this balancing act, this juggling act that you've got going on here. It's a lot. that You've got a lot on your plate right now. And so figuring out a way that you can be very organized, um, that Virgo energy that I spoke of central here is potentially the thing that could be the area within which you come unstuck. So get that Virgo energy nailed in, that real organizational um, habits, um, kind of being responsible for those smaller details. That's the energy that's going to help you right now. Your advice and guidance is the Hierophant. Get some additional outside help. Um, yeah, maybe um, I, I know when, if it would come to like, like some serious renovation, if we're, again, we're going with this metaphor here, um, or the actual thing that's happening for you, depending on how this is resonating, of course. Um, I wouldn't have a clue. Like, I can maybe hang a picture. <laughs> and I could maybe kind of, like, blag my way through, like, the basic household tasks, you know, in terms of, like, DIY and stuff like that. But when it comes to, like, the big stuff, better to get a professional in um, the Hierophant is somebody who is wise, somebody who knows. It's talking about an institution. This, The advice here is not only to kind of get somebody professional in, but make sure you've checked um, like the reviews. Make sure that this is somebody reliable. This is like a company that has some kind of clout or some kind of comeback to, like a professional, official company, not just like some guy from down the road who said he could do it cheaper. Be aware, be wary of that kind of energy. You need to be... 100% certain that whomever is coming into your home, whoever is working with you, whoever you are kind of delegating this task to is somebody who is trustworthy and reliable. Um, so do your homework on that, basically. Somebody else in this situation is represented by the Eight of Wands. Mercury and Sagittarius. Okay, whomever you're working with here isn't... Uh, <laughs> How do I put this? Um, the most patient, <laughs> let's just say. Um, we've got some Taurus energy. Venus, Taurus, fixed Earth, more Earth energy, more Taurus energy, by the way. This here is Sagittarius. It's Mercury and Sagittarius. It's swift, fast action, fast movement, fast intention. Um, it could speak about air travel and relocating so maybe you're going to be on an airplane maybe well this is somebody else maybe somebody else is traveling to to come to you um or they're messaging you a lot to to check up on how progress is going um this person needs things to happen to a timetable whether that does or does not happen is not clear but what they would like is clear they would like things to happen according to a pre-designed timetable and those expectations to be met. So good luck. <laughs> In my experience, when it comes to these kind of big projects, you think, oh, that'll take maybe two weeks. And in actual fact, it takes six, you know. So just just be aware of that. Your hopes and fears is the emperor. Yeah, you're hoping that you can kind of stay on top of this. Um, stay in charge of this. You're hoping that you can kind of control this situation and 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 it all be very, very organized and structured. Um, you are aware that some of your plans may be somewhat ambitious. Um, you're hoping that everybody involved is going to have the patience and the discipline required to get things done to the way that you would like them. While that is your hope, all of those things not happening is your fear, okay? Your ultimate outcome. Remember, bearing in mind, this is for June of 20, 
24, um, give or take a week or two. So, you know, this is this is energy that is always moving and shifting. We have the judgment card. We're so close. We are so close. Um, card number 20 out of the 21, well, 22 technically, Major Arcana. So this is like the penultimate card of the Major Arcana. We're not quite at the finish line. The finish line's just just there. It's it's just tantalizingly out of reach. But we're not quite there. Pluto, Scorpio, and fixed water. If you were hoping to have everything wrapped up and ready by the end of June, give or take two, two, two three weeks either side, you're not going to be quite there. It'll be so close that you can taste it and you can smell it, but you're not going to be quite done by the end of when this energy is in play. Um, so I would say plan for July. <laughs> But yeah, making sure that you have somebody trusted, involved here can absolutely help. Um, being patient, being flexible, being disciplined, managing your money well, getting organized, that Virgo energy, getting, getting organized and making sure you have a plan, making sure you have lists, like write things down. All of that is going to help you. Good luck in whatever endeavor you are working through right now, Cancer. I'm going to shift this over to the extended. I'll take a card from the Wicker deck to give you a focal point for any visualization or meditation um, practices that you might want to do throughout June. If you find time <laughs> for stuff like that in between all of this, because you are a busy, busy, busy bee this month. Hopefully you'll get a little bit of a break over your birthday. Here we go. The North. Cardinal points of the compass. This is a very Game of Thrones kind of vibe, isn't it? The North. The North. I'm from the North of England. The final resting point on the magic circle. North is the place of rest and renewal. It is the power of winter. A time when nothing appears to be growing, but inwardly the earth is gathering her energies for new life to begin. The north is the power of night, the time when the body lies sleeping, but the spirit is active, dreaming and learning. North stands for the white snow of purity and the focus and clarity of the elder. It is wisdom and it is knowing. North is the direction to work with when you need to gain strength of will and clarity in your intentions. It is also a place of refuge, the place where you are able to retreat to find rest and rejuvenation. Yeah, don't burn yourself out, Cancer. Um, I think it's going to be worth it, but it's going to be a lot of hard work. But I think you already know that. I'll see some of you over in the extended. Take care. <laughs>